Hi, I'm Jun Wen, and I'm very excited to present our work SamLabs, real-time semantic mapping with latent prior networks and quasi-planar segmentation. SamLabs is a real-time semantic mapping system based on 2D, 3D networks. It takes in a sequence of RGBD images to output the semantic mapping of the scene sequentially. Our experiment shows that SamLabs achieves state-of-the-art accuracy among real-time 2D, 3D networks and shows better cross-sensor generalization capabilities than methods based on 3D-only networks. SamLabs runs on top of a state-of-the-art visual inertia SLAM system, performing camera tracking and geometry reconstruction. It has three main stages. First, a latent prior network enhanced with latent feature reprojection takes in the RGBD frames and outputs 2D semantic labels, which are then lifted to 3D and aggregated over time with Bayesian fusion. Second, quasi-planar over-segmentation groups the surface voxels into segments associated with segment class probabilities and geometric features. And finally, segment convolutional network applies convolutions at segment level and obtains the final refined semantic labels. For an individual frame, LPN takes in RGB and depth as input and outputs the semantic labels as well as intermediate feature maps at several strides. Features extracted from RGB and depths are fused at multiple resolutions with SSMA. The ASPP module is applied at the bottleneck, followed by a lightweight decoder that predicts the final output. Note that we also propose an RGB-only variant where only RGB encoder is used for feature extraction. Intermediate feature maps at multiple resolutions are reprojected and fused to the reference view. At training time, the views come in mini-batch mode, and for the neighboring views, we also predict semantic output for computing auxiliary loss. At test time, the whole process happens sequentially, and we only predict the output for the reference view. We aim to reduce the map cardinality by grouping voxels into segments. We propose a novel quasi-planar over-segmentation method relying on surface normals. It processes the surface voxels in an incremental manner, producing a small set of segments. We then apply segment convolutional network to refine the semantic map further. Inspired by PointConf, our segment convolution uses an MLP to predict convolution kernel and another MLP to process the features. To understand the cross-sensor generalization ability of different semantic mapping methods, we collected a four-sequence RGBD indoor dataset captured using RealSense D455. Meshes are manually annotated with semantic labels in consistency with ScanNet. In the next few slides, we will show some ex experimental results. First, we show 3D results on ScanNet validation sequences. SamLabs achieves the best result among 2D, 3D network-based methods and matches the performance of the 3D network-based methods, but also provides 2D semantic labeling, which is important for other semantic SLAM tasks and facilitates the cross-sensor generalization ability, which we will show later. Here's some more detailed qualitative comparison. SamLabs performs better in classes that rely more on visual features, such as refrigerator and counter. See the green box and zoomed-in views. SamLabs also produces smoother and less fragmented segmentation boundaries compared to the 3D network baseline. In this slide, we show the cross-sensor generalization results on our self-collected SMR dataset. From the table, our system in the RGB mode shows the best performance in both metrics. From the figure, apart from the classes already mentioned in previous scanned results like refrigerator and counter, our method also performs much better on thin structures and small objects, like the stools in the first row. We invite you to look into our paper for more experiments, analysis, and ablation studies. In the next few slides, we'll show some videos on our system running in real time on ScanNet and also our self collected sequences. Here is some labs running on a ScanNet scene. Our system is able to reconstruct good, good semantic maps incrementally. Here is SamLabs running on our self-collected kitchen sequence. Note the geometry quality compared with ScanNet scenes. Our system could achieve reasonable mapping results without trained on ScanNet. Thanks for watching and please refer to our paper for more details.